uh, so our next script is uh, Boozling, and our author for this is Laurent. Uh, just like the other one, you've got our previous version is on the left, and the current version is on the right. Um, so some changes that got made. Uh, Amnesiac got taken out, uh, which is good for us. We don't have to worry about another Amni ability. Um, although, you know, good for Aiden. He got that bingo. Um, you know, Amni abil Amni abilities are often, uh, best when they're just simple, straightforward, and at some point the Amni is going to guess it. Um, I've seen Amnis get bingos on day one before, and, like, it's usually not too game-breaking, you know? Like, most of your Amni abilities should just be pretty straightforward. Uh, but we don't have to worry about that, because Amni is out. Hooray! Uh, we do have to worry about Mathematician, though, and what things might ping a math. We'll get there when we get there. <laughs> if we get When there. we get there, yeah. <laughs> yep. Uh, and the other change was Vigor Mortis is out, and the Nodashi is in. Um, and the comments from our author are... With the amount of possibilities of poisoning, Mathematician fits well to find out what characters are actually in play. With the minions, the Vigor didn't really have its place, and Nodashi no competed well with the Mathematician. So yeah, uh, some pretty simple uh, reasoning there um, makes sense to me. Um, let me... Alright, I need to now upload our JSON. Okay, and... Spanish is standing in the front of the TV in the exact spot where I need to go in order to change screens. Thank you, Spanish. <laughs> He's like, Cause... hey, I want to be involved too. Yeah, I want to be involved by being in the way. Good job, buddy. All right. Um, so just like the other script that I didn't upload. Oops, that's not the right one. I don't want to add a slideshow. I want to just add a singular image of that one. Hopefully big. There we go. Maybe. I think I just need to shift it over. There we go. Okay, there we go. All right, we've got the uh, script up. Script up for chat. Um, and now we just need to get organizing on our players. Yeah, Jackie, if you want to check the... Uh, like our sign-up page um, and see about yeah. wrangling players and let me know if I need to make any changes. Otherwise, I'm just going to remove all our players and just type it out. Add from scratch. It helps if I play spell players' names right. <laughs> I missed the U in Bruce. Justin. Looks like the only one we're missing is SL. DJ. All right. Yep. If you could just uh, ping it yep. for us. Yeah, <laughs> I'm on it. And a randomize for the seats. There we go. All right. Um. Yeah. We'll get. Oh, yeah. I see SL in chat. Yep. Just right as I hit enter. <laughs> All right. Let's uh remove current game. Reassign current game. This is still just the best spot. Uh. So shouts to Patters for the best spot. Oh, who else am I missing? Because Frazier's not in this game. I need to put the current game on myself. What am I doing? There we go. Ah, thank you. Okay, uh, so we will give uh, Dibs slash Justin uh, a few minutes. Um, at the very least, we can we can start working on our game setup, and if, if he's not here in time, uh, then we can pull in one of our subs. So, by the way, if you are in Twitch chat and you are on our uh, wait list, um, 
maybe get out, get for, out for like <laughs> five minutes or so and you know keep your eye on game chat and see if we need you because uh, we are going to start building a game um to hopefully give justin time to show up so all right choose and assign let's hit shuffle all right so um we have Pretty interesting setup. I actually, I still like what it's giving us. We do have to make some changes because we have a Baron in here and a Marionette. So, um, but we've got an Imp game. Ooh. Ooh, I like Imp Marionette. Yeah, me too. I mean, I like Marionette in general, but <laughs> um, Imp Marionette is fun because they can catch a star pass potentially. Okay. Um, so we've got Damsel and Puzzle Master as our two outsiders that are currently in. I think I'm happy with that. We need to add two more from the Baron. I think um, we'll do Klutz and Mutant. Okay. Okay. Um, so Huntsman is currently in uh, for the Damsel. I think that's fine. We can keep that. We do have to take one Townsfolk out. Uh, because basically two would have been taken out from the Baron to put in the two outsiders, but then one gets added back in t for the marionette. Okay. So, um... Let's see, what do we have? So the, the randomizer has given us, um, fortune teller, savant, seamstress, huntsman, fisherman, slayer, and cannibal. I think I probably only want one of Savant or Fisherman in, um, just to sort of limit the amount of uh, storyteller subjectivity and the information going out, if that makes sense. Um, yes. If, if we're going to do a Cannibal, I really like once per game abilities with Cannibal, so things like Seamstress, Fisherman, Slayer, I think work really nicely there. Okay. Um, so I think we'll once again take out Savant. Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> <laughs> some some nights I just don't feel like doing savant. Um, I'm trying to get better about it, but um, and then I think we could like really load this up for the cannibal and put in a noble as well instead of like the ongoing fortune teller. But I think the ongoing information there's definitely currently a lack of that. And to be fair, yeah. if a huntsman finds their damsel, then then we could you know help with turn that, into whatever so. yeah um so i'm i'm honestly i'm thinking that we really don't need to make that many changes on this this one either like both of these scripts have definitely been honed um pretty well to the point where yeah i'm not really seeing a whole lot of need to change too much um from the randomizer which is great that's you know to me a sign of uh, a script that is hitting the point where it's quite robust mm-hmm uh, which was sort of, you know, the whole point of, of the World Cup, right? It was about, um, you know, seeing your script actually get play tested, which is where you get the most valuable information from. Uh, and then, uh, you know, from there, um, like refining it based off of the feedback that you get. So I think that's really cool. Um, all right. So we looks like we still don't have... Uh, Justin, so we might need to call in one of our uh, one of our waitlisted people. Which first on the list is Resnora. Res, yeah, and everybody's yeah. been in, so we don't have to worry about jumping okay. around. Yeah. So, um, all right, let's uh, let's get these assigned out, and we'll do any any of the night one stuff that we need to do. Um, like setup stuff. So like who yeah. do we who do we want to make the fortune tellers red herring? Mm -hmm. Um, I think I think DJ is a decent shout. Cause okay. like I feel like, you know, on this script with a cannibal, a fisherman or a seamstress who are the only other like really maybe strong targets i think maybe huntsman but like a fisherman and a seamstress are more likely to sort of use their ability quite early and sacrifice to the cannibal whereas i think a slayer is mm, a little bit more likely oh that's right we have to make a marionette never mind uh -huh. and it's the fortune teller it's the fortune teller <laughs> never mind fuck all of what i was just saying <laughs> <laughs> I did, uh, thanks, chat. I did, in fact, momentarily forget that we have a marionette. 
Um, so, okay, so we're going to do what I do when I have something like a drunk marionette, which is I'm going to put out some red herring pings. And these are the players that if our uh, marionette fortune teller picks them, that's who they get a yes on. You don't have to do this to be clear. Uh, this is just the way that I like to run like drunk or perma poisoned or whatever fortune tellers um, because it helps me um, remember to like give out basically like if I want to, it helps me give out um, information that tracks right so if you just give like a drunk fortune teller like yes after yes after yes after yes they're probably going to figure out that they're the drunk quite early on um whereas if you give more consistent information of like only these two people seem to be giving you yeses then they're less likely to think that they're the drunk slash purple poison so um that's what i it's just my personal little hack for helping me give out that consistent info without having <laughs> to memorize who they chose every single night um, but we do need to decide who we're puzzle drunking. I'm thinking we puzzle drunk either the seamstress or the fisherman. I was thinking fisherman, but seamstress okay. is a good one too. Well, if we're both thinking fisherman, then I think the fisherman is the right choice. Um, okay, so I think that's all that we have to do for our setup questions there. Um... All right, uh, so we can go ahead and head back up and we can let uh, Resnora know that they are in for playing. Let me actually just change the name on the Grim. Okay, uh, we're ready. Let's go back. Bear, <laughs> who's the bear? Hello, um, so Resnora, oh. we've had a player who has not responded to the ping, so you are in. Cool. Let's go. Rose. Of that pesky exclamation point. The current game roll. Wee. Right. Bruce, you get to play together. <laughs> yeah. It's a post Thanksgiving miracle. All right. So, um, everybody, if you could just please take your seats, uh, we are ready to go. Good night. Hi. Hi. All right. Let's send out those characters. And, oh, we need to pick out bluffs. Oh, yeah. All right. Um, what do we want for bluffs? Um, okay, you know what? Let's do a balloonist. Throw some question about their, uh, about whether um, there is, in fact, <laughs> all outsiders <laughs> in the game. Or a fangu, yeah. Um, I think oracle... Is a great bluff. And let's see. We have an imp. They could do a star pass. So I'm thinking maybe a raven keeper. Raven keeper. Yeah. Yeah. Resnora and Malishan are in fact the huntsman damsel pair. Um, so. Oof. That's good. Well, that, I don't know. Yeah. I mean, Resnora is pretty inclined like to, to just flat out lie to start with. Um, you know, so yeah, we'll see whether whether they get the you know the social read off of Mal um, to to decide that they would like to out. Uh, there is the, also a the, Fangu on the script. They won't nope. Yeah, that they won't nope out day one because yeah. they're the damsel and there's a Fangu. <laughs> exactly. So like that's that's a potential is that Resnora might. Um, like last time Resnora was uh, an outsider on a Fangu script, she claimed to be like a spent role who was like, yeah, just sacrifice me to the cannibal. And of course that, that got them executed. So, you know, <laughs> um, might end up doing the same thing. I guess it might depend on how they feel about Malishan's Huntsman claim if Malishan gives it. Um, all right, but let's go ahead and uh, go visit the evil team that we need to visit, which are just Tanfana and Ryback. Hello. <laughs> Are you there? <laughs> All right. Uh, so your minions are Tanfana and Dak. Okay. And uh, Dak is specifically your marionette. Oh, no. <laughs> Jeez. All right. And your bluffs are Balloonist, Oracle, and Ravenkeeper. 
Not sus at all. Not at all. Mm -hmm. Many thanks. You're welcome. Hello. Hello. All right. Uh, your demon is Ryback. Oh, perfect. That also tells you something else about the game that technically I can't. I kind of figured it'd be a marionette. The randomizer does what the randomizer does. This is fine. I'm going damsel hunting, y'all. All right. Good luck. Thank you. All right. So, okay, we do have to visit uh, Malshan today, and we visit Bambi, and we visit Dak. Um, and potentially, if Malishan just decides to uh, completely throw their ability out there and choose Resnora Night 1, which would be hilarious. Hilarious. We might have to visit Res, but uh, <laughs> more likely going to hold on to it. Um, all right, let's go visit. Hello. Oh, at least we don't have boys on our Discord. Um, let's go, Tamfana. And no, no, let's go for let's go just to see uh, all the level. Marashan and Resnora. <laughs> you check Malashan and Resnora, and you get a yes. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Interesting. Hello. Hello. Would you like to use your ability? Much as I'm always tempted and I always end up regretting it, I'm not going to. <laughs> okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Sensible choice. Hello. Hello. Please choose two players. Um, go with Ryback and Art. Ryback and Art, and you get a no. Okay, thank you very much. You're very welcome. I was a little afraid that he might actually just choose both neighbors, and then I feel like really compelled to give a yes because that's where I put the fake red herring. But then, like, yeah, <laughs> you know, they might—he might end up like pushing on the wrong side of that really early on. Uh, so yeah, I'm glad he only went with one neighbor there. Um, so we've got a, a seamstress yes on Malishan and Resnora, which is going to be great for them if they find that out um, and, and believe it, because it does increase the odds of the Huntsman Damsel finding each other. Um, the fortune teller getting a yes on Malishan, though, ties them together as a demon and a minion, which is entirely possible with Res knowing that there's no damsel in play um, and therefore that there's also no Huntsman. And if they get together, you know, like very convenient, you know. Mm -hmm. So... Uh, yeah, I think this, this looks like it has the potential to be a very interesting game. Um, right now, if, if SL uses it immediately, I think I would probably say, um, something along the lines of, uh, you can't trust, um, it, you can't trust information from the lower half of the board. Okay. Uh, right. I kind of want to, like, if, if I had a, a sober, healthy fisherman, I would most likely be hinting at them that the top half of the board is not uh, to be trusted because all of the evils are up there. So I just want to kind of um, flip that and make them question what's coming from the lower half. Um, that's also uh, like there is a mutant down here. So like in a certain way, it's not 100% like wrong information. You probably shouldn't trust what's coming from a mutant. Um, but, you know, it, it throws the klutz pick as well as a puzzle master pick into into a bit of question as well of these might just be evil players. And the seamstress info. Yeah, exactly. Um, 
And if, if they're, so there's three out of four outsiders on the lower half as well, right? Which means that it also really kind of, you know, saying that you can't trust what comes down from here, it becomes a question of, well, are you telling me that because these are all outsiders who are going to be bluffing as something else at the start of the game? Or are you telling me this because there actually is just some evil players bluffing as outsiders and we don't have a Baron, right? That is, that is, I think, the question that might come up from that. And that's exactly what we would want out of uh, a drunk player. Yep. Okay. Let's uh let's start the game up. Hello everybody. I was so angry about being murdered with my lovely subs tomato uh last game that my rage resurrected us from the depths of hell and we uh, decided to wreak havoc on the town in vengeance by summoning our own demon. So hey, guess what? There's a demon amongst you again. Good luck. Ah, did, you, demon. Did, you, did you say subs tomato? Yeah. Yeah. Tomato sub confirmed. <laughs> Hello. Here's my question for you. If I was Sarah Novist, at that point during that day, I cannot ask you for advice, correct? Uh, no. So players can go to the storyteller at any time for any reason. Um, so I would say if you were to announce to the town, hey, I'm going to the storyteller to get my fisherman advice, that would constitute a madness break and uh, be grounds for execution. But if you were to just ask for a basic storyteller consult and... Uh, you know, not specify. Like what I just did. Yeah, exactly. Uh, that in and of itself is not enough to break madness. And you can never break madness privately with the storyteller, right? So I know that you're the fisherman. I see. So therefore, you coming to me and saying, hey, can I use my fisherman ability is is always going to be fine. Got it. Obviously, that's not me asking for advice at this point. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, I'm currently trying to decide if I try to use it now. Or if I bluff and pretend I've used it now and then pray I survive long enough to use it later. Always Ugh. the question with these once per game abilities, right? Yes. And I've never played Fisherman before. So I'm going to go ahead and ask for my advice right now. All right. Well, lucky for you, I decided uh, to think about that during the first night phase, just in case that was a possibility. So I'm already prepared. And your Thank advice you. today is you should be wary of information coming from the South. All righty. I think I read you loud and clear. All Thank right. you. You're welcome. Best of luck. All right, there we go. <clears throat> like, seriously, who just came in here with it? Navian? Yes. Navian, you missed the most, like, tense conversation I think I've ever had in Clock Tower. Where Malishan comes in here, and I was like, what do you want to do? And then was like, let's hard claim. And then they're like, Raven Keeper. And I was like, are you the Raven Keeper? And they're like, no. I was like, okay, do you want to tell me what you are? And they said, damsel and i'm like oh, i don't believe you i think you're evil and some back and forth and they outed as huntsman to me and, and, and she so asked the damsel to me so i'm going to pick her i just don't but know which if one way else... i know <laughs> and I... so for 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 the benefit i have said make it work hi navian hello i would like to make a guess okay is DJ the puzzle drunk? All right. You guess DJ. Yes. And I'm going to tell you Malishan. Excellent. Incredible. The odds are good that DJ is not the puzzle drunk, and so I'm going to try to protect Malishan at all costs. Okay, good luck. Appreciate it. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye. Bye. All right. Well, I gave Malachan. Sorry. No, no, no. It's okay. Um, I gave Malachan B 
because of the fortune teller pings that at some point in the game might be coming out, right? Uh, it means that if that comes out with, oh, well, I got a fortune teller, yes, on like DJ and Malishon, then DJ's kind of incentivized to be like, yeah, I'm going to shoot Malishon then. Uh, and it, the shot isn't going to kill. Um, so in that world, uh, Malishon could still be a demon if DJ is, in fact, the puzzle drunk. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and Slayer is a great target to puzzle drunk, too. So, yeah, I think that might cause some havoc. We'll see how it goes. Okay. And uh, if Malshan dies early, then we, we're just moving our fake fortune teller ping. It's fine. Right, because that doesn't count. <laughs> yeah. Because, uh, yep. All right, cool. All right, this game. I'm just going to ignore my role. Uh, I I essentially have a blank token right now, so <laughs> that is lovely. Uh, not that I haven't received my role. Don't get me wrong. I have received my role. I'm just considering it as a Blake token right now. That makes sense. All right. Sounds good. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Near. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Cool. All right. Awesome. Appreciate yep. it. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Yep. Which is very demon like, which worries me. That's fine. Um, I just I think it's funny I gave you a, a Baron Empath Watcher Woman Blue Mr. Slayer for those listening out there. Oh, right, yes, because half those are on this fucking script. Some That's right. Are. Well, Washington one is at the rest are. I should know my path either. Never mind. All right, um, all right so what I, are you offering? I am either the noble, the oracle, the slayer, or the clots. Nosk. Okay. We'll go with that. I just went off. I just went down the row. Okay. For a minute, I thought you were doing like a Fast and Furious thing with Nos, but you know, it's okay. I know. I don't have that. <laughs> I, I don't plan that far ahead. All right. Sounds good. All right. Uh, see you up top. All right. No problem. Oh, okay. Um, so I'm I'm fine doing that. I'm I'm your other minion, and Dylan is your marionette. Exactly. Got it. Okay. I'll go talk to him right now. All right. Sounds good. Thank you. Sounds like we missed something fun. Oh right. well. Just claiming demon to everyone. Uh huh. <laughs> How's that working out for you? Um. I think Dylan's gonna believe it, which is always fun for me. So, I'm assuming you told both your neighbors you're you're the marionette. Uh, I actually so I claimed so I told Dylan that they're my marionette, and then I said that SL was the other minion. And then I, I talked to SL, and then I just said, "Hey, can you just tell D Dylan that you're the other minion for like a, at least a little bit, so that Dylan <laughs> believes it?" And I love that. That's all I had to say. Gave no reason for it. <laughs> I just was like, "Can you do this?" You that know what? Like, yeah. This game is about having fun, and clearly that is fun. Yeah, that's what I'm like. That's what I love. Just ask people to do things that they probably, sh you know, if they were trying to, like, really win, should not do. Yeah. But, yeah, that's fine. All right, thank you. You're welcome. Silly townsfolk and their silly claims. Well, technically, out silly outsiders. Got it. Welcome Got it. back, everybody. Please chat amongst yourselves. Um, Tanfana, were you honest with me about about the claims? Yes. Okay. Does anyone think we have a cannibal, like as a percentage? No. I don't want the cannibal to out for obvious reasons, but I've heard of a claim of cannibal. Cannibal kindness. Project. We one hundred percent have a cannibal in this game. Okay. Um, if you're absolutely sure we've got a cannibal. Um, are we sure it's not a Serenovus? Serenovus cannibal. That's the only thing I want to know. I mean, I, I think we'll I know. Never what know. We never know. So. Yeah, could yeah. we ever be sure on that? No. No, there's also the mutant here too. So nominations are um, open. I, I have a question for Bruce. Yes. Um, based on the conversation that we had, and I and I know we need to finish it because I didn't get to share anything about myself with you. Um, but based on what you shared with me, would you be okay dying today? Oh no, I don't think I'm a great kill at all. Did you lie to me? No. Okay. Okay. All right, that's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll talk more tomorrow. Okay, yep, yep. Nominations are open. No one's got anything. I've got an idea, but... 
Uh, Malashan nominates Bambi. Okay, Malashan nominates Bambi. Why? If we have a cannibal, I think this will be interesting. Okay, Bambi. Anything to say? Yes, if we have a cannibal. But if we don't have a cannibal, my, I'm just a good player who died soon. Okay, you need six votes. And six is enough to put Bambi on the block. Any more nominations? Very quiet town. Is anybody talking or like? No. Uh, no please nominate Dylan. I just wanted to make sure that, like, I wasn't having audio it issues. It went quiet. <laughs> okay, so Briss nominates Dylan. Why? Um, I don't know. Uh, okay, I guess that's to break the silence. Uh, Dylan. Uh, silence is broken. Good job. Uh, fix it, I guess? Alright, uh, six to tie, seven to go. I'm not angry with the silence. I just was confused that maybe my my audio was messed up. I mean, somehow. I have just nothing I, to say. I had that thought as well because it was like very silent. Yeah, it was Four weirdly silent. Honk. Final call. Bambi, I would love to chat with you first tomorrow. Ryback would nominate you Bruce. Are. Okay, Ryback nominates Bruce. Why? I just want to hear more about what Bruce might be. He feels like he's overacting. Bruce, are you overacting? Uh, let the demon kill me. How about that? Okay, you need seven votes to put Bruce on the block. Yeah, Acrobat is definitely a difficult one. I'm grandmother confirmed, by the way. Emma's not here. Four is still not a Ah, oh, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Final call? Uh, Bobby nominated Jason. Okay, please tell us why. Reasons. Jason. Other reasons. All right, sounds very solid to me. Seven to put Jason on the block. I will break a tie if it gets to me on time. I honestly, just based on the fact that we were so quiet after Bambi was put on the block, I, I don't think anyone's going to put anyone else enough. on the block today. Final call. Bambi, how would you like to be executed? As your witch. Alright, so uh, I apparently am turning into a genie, and I am granting Town's wish to execute Bambi. Uh, and you die. And then everybody goes to sleep. Here we go. We're going we're gonna to throw out one of the less used tokens in the game, which is the Cannibals Died Today uh, token. Similar to the Undertaker's token, which also rarely ever actually gets used. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, okay, so SL uh, used his ability and got the information today to be wary of the information that comes from the South. Um, so we're basically saying, like, you can't necessarily trust info coming from the lower half of the board. Um to kind of maybe look like, yeah, there's some evils down here. Um, Bruce, oh yeah, Bruce used the Puzzle Master guess. There we go. Guess DJ got Malashan. Um, we are quite likely to get um, Huntsman Damsel pick tonight, unless Ryback kills Malashan. Kills Malashan. Yeah. E yeah, could kill Resnora. Um, but Resnora would still technically turn, but Resnora would just be dead. Wouldn't be able to get any info oh. or anything. Um, but yeah, if, if uh, Ryback kills either one of those, it does sort of somewhat nerf that. Um, but yeah, like we don't have any Poisoner, we don't have a Serenova, so we're actually just going straight to Ryback. 
Hello. Hello. So, there's a Fengu on this script. Uh-huh. If Miss Nora was an outsider, she'd be yeeting herself off the cliff. So I think I'm going to do Res a favor and yeet her off a cliff. Yeeting Res Nora off a cliff. You got it. Thank you very much. Ryback missed the one singular thing that would prevent Reznora from yeeting herself oh. off a cliff. <laughs> um, so Rez is going to know that it is not a Fangu game, but certainly it could make it look like Rez is the Fangu, I guess. Um, all right, so Rez is dead. Uh, Rez gets to get turned into something. Um, let's let's take because oh wait no. Malishan can only choose a living player. Never mind. Oh, double rip. <laughs> oh, Ryback just absolutely ruined that. Uh, which is good going. Good going, Evil. That's probably good for you, because we would have given Red something good. <laughs> but let's go to Malishan and give them the sad news when they try to pick Reznora, and we have to shake our heads. Okay. Hello. Hello. Please choose a player. I will use it and choose Vesnova, please. I'm going to shake my head at you. Okay. Thank Let's you. Choose, uh, or, well, I guess, yeah. Uh, you don't have to choose a player, but you are attempting to choose a player and you choose Resnora and I shake my head. Okay. Um, would you like to choose a different player? Uh, da 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 da. I am looking at the script. Um. I will point it right back. Okay, thank you. Okay, my push to talk in a whole model. <laughs> that is okay. Oh man, so sad. So sad. They found each other and, and it got dashed. Dashed on the rocks. Right, and now Mal's <laughs> gonna be like, I should've just YOLO'd it night one. <laughs> yeah. Um, it could be an interesting trap to try to set for Ryback and be like, yeah, I'm the Huntsman and I chose you. Did anything happen? And, and see if like an evil thinks that maybe it's just a, a drunksman. Oh, you know what? We did forget to tell them. We forgot to tell the minions that there was a, a damsel in play. You told Tan. Oh, did I? Yeah, because Tan's on a mission to find the damsel and have Dak pick it. Okay. I don't remember saying that. So I, I guess I did, though. <laughs> Good for me. Yes. <laughs> uh, probably watch. Go back and watch this. And actually, I didn't. And Tan just somehow like uh, telepathically knew it. <laughs> okay. Um. Uh, actually, I. You know what? I. I'm so nervous about it that I'm just just gonna, double check. Yeah. yeah. So like, I don't remember if I actually told you or not. But like, there is a damsel in play. I feel like I might have forgotten to tell you that. <laughs> You definitely forgot to tell me that, but I kind of assumed it based on the number of outsiders we likely have. Yeah, yeah. Being the Baron, it's a very strong uh, hint for you. Um, and I realized, like, you know, ja Jackie was like, well, yeah, Tana's like on a hunt for a damsel, so you must have told her. And I'm like, I think I didn't. And then, right, you're the Baron, of course. Y you would you would think there's probably one in play anyway. But yeah, there's definitely a damsel in play, and I forgot to tell you. I am I am sorry. That's fine. I did say I'm going damsel hunting, so that's probably yeah. what made you think you told me. <laughs> yeah, probably. All right, thanks. Thank you. Okay, um, so we do have our cannibal seamstress tonight, and we have our marionette fortune teller, and that's it. Okay. Hello. Hello. Please choose two players. Um, let's go. DJ and Art. DJ and Art, and you get a yes. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. And there we go. 
Hello. Hi. Would you like to use your ability? Sure, I'd like to use my ability. Okay, please choose two players. Okay, uh, I would like to check... Uh, hmm. I would like to check... SL and Bruce. You choose SL and Bruce, and you get a yes. Wonderful, thank you. You're welcome. All right, uh, so that is two seamstress yeses, which is really interesting. Um, yeah, I do think that if Good gets their information together and trusts the right people, they might have a pretty decently strong chain, uh, but that's always the trouble, right? Getting the right good players together to combine their information. Right. Um, and there's, of course, every world where one of these seamstress abilities has actually just chosen two evil players. That's also entirely possible. It's less likely to be SL, given the fisherman advice, uh, because I told SL to be wary of, you know, information coming from the south of the Grim. Um, to try to make them hit that, like, these players down here are evil, so why would evil be just immediately throwing their fellow evils under the bus like that? It's less likely. But, like, Malishan and Raz could be could be a Fangu who jumped there, um, could be a Night 2 Imp Star Pass just to, to really fuck with people. Mm -hmm. So, um, I think if Dak ends up choosing Resnora, less likely since Resnora is going to be dead, but if Dak chooses Resnora, I think I'm going to give a yes on that as well. Okay. Um, but yeah, we'll have to see if or when Dak gets there. Um, I think that's everybody, right? Yeah, we have a lot of outsiders in place. There's not a whole lot for us to do it <laughs> at night. Correct. All right, let's wake them up. Hello. It is a great morning for everybody, uh, except for Nora, who is definitely dead. Well, let's talk. Resnora? Yep. I would yep. love to talk. talk. All right, can we talk? Yeah, let's go, DJ. <laughs> um, I was the damsel. Oh! <laughs> well, um, hot damn. <laughs> I... So, so hey, it's not a fangu. Yeah, it's not a fangu. Do you want, do you want Mal to join... Okay, so I, I think, trust that Mel is not the demon. I think Malishan was the huntsman who was supposed to pick me last night, and I like, I I want you to know, uh, I want you to know that was the most stressful night I've ever had playing fucking Clock Tower ever. I'm bringing Malishan in. Uh, yeah. I seriously, I was pacing my room, hugging Resnora. <laughs> I was so fucking scared, <laughs> and then I was like, oh my god, this isn't happening. Like Mal died, I'm screwed. <laughs> <laughs> then I wake up dead, which, you know, I if I wasn't going to properly get Huntsman picked, I'm glad I'm the one who died so I don't have to go through the rest of the game trying to not get fucking damsel picked. Yeah, no, that's fair. I'm, I'm glad that you're dead. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> and, and that confirms no Fangu, like you said. Yep. Which makes me feel safe. Like. Yep, so now you're safe. So now, yeah, keep like, me up. yeah. Um... But you've also yeah, used your ability, which is I that did. Great. I've used my ability, but like also the reason why I said I wouldn't be a good kill was because I actually just wanted to to have been good because um, that's yep. more likely. Excellent. Um, I will tell you I am an outsider, so if Fangu game you might want to kill me at some point, but I'm good for now. I don't think it's a Fangu right now. Uh, that makes sense. Uh, uh, Res fun. and Bruce really want to talk to me, so I'm going to go grab Wait, them quickly. Go for it. Sounds good. Thanks. Sorry. Quite yet. I'm gonna hold on to it. All right. I'll say I am either the Raven Keeper or the Slayer. All right. Cool. All right. Sounds good. See you around. Thank you much. Bruce and got a yes with. SL is your minion, and 
Bruce is good, then uh, I'm I'm getting weird info. Uh, <laughs> oh, that's great. Yeah, I'm, I'm still sticking to Puzzle Master. I think good. Art might be our drunk pixie. Uh, my very nice. That's right. Uh, okay. Because Art sounds like uh, he may have seen a cannibal. So keep that in mind. Okay, that makes sense. Um, okay. That works. Maybe leave them alive then, because uh, that could help to confirm you, maybe. Okay. That sounds good. All right. Great. Thank you, Dylan. All right. Thank you. And uh, tell me what the cannibal will see. So for now, I don't have a cannibal clan. Okay. Can we exchange some sort of threes anyway? <laughs> uh, yes. Okay, I'm gonna give you seamstress, huntsman, balloonist. Huntsman, seamstress, and balloonist. Choo -choo. I will give you noble, seamstress, or pixie. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah, I've been partying all night. Nice. It's always a nice night, yeah. Um, uh, willing to exchange some info? Yeah. Um, I will tell you, I am either the Raven Keeper or the Noble. If you're the noble, would you be willing to share me your pings? Yes, it was DJ, Dak, and Tantana. Got it. That's actually extremely helpful. Okay, perfect. Um, I will claim to you I'm either the Raven Keeper, the Savant, or the Fisherman. Okay, sounds good. Bye-bye. Bye. With. Well, I'll do whatever you want to do, as long as it involves the truth. Threes it is, then. All right. Seamstress, Huntsman, Balloonist. Seamstress, Huntsman, Balloonist. All right. I will tell you, I am either the mathematician, the cannibal, or the fisherman. If you're the cannibal, did you talk to Bambi? Uh, if I'm the cannibal, I have, of course, talked to Bambi. Okay, so you're not the cannibal. Okay. That she was upset that the cannibal hasn't spoken to her. Well, I talked to her on day one. <laughs> well, that doesn't count. I meant today. <laughs> All right. Sounds good. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I'll say this. The only other dot... I've, I've talked to basically everyone who's alive... And unless there's no jump to someone, which I don't think after the outrage with your nonsense. <laughs> My nonsense, excuse me. Not the nonsense that you did yesterday, Reznor was felt genuinely upset, confused about. So I'm like, no, Reznor is not confused about nope. the being, you being evil. Yes. I am genuine. good. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. Chat amongst yourselves. So I right. just want to say, I died day one, so if I can about nobody talk to me, so I just die for nothing, apparently. Um, DJ would like to claim Slayer and shoot Jason. What is your weapon of choice? A plastic straw. All right, so uh, DJ gets a plastic straw from the local fast food joint. It's very flimsy. And as a result, when it gets launched, it doesn't even make it halfway to Jason. Nothing happens. Jason, I cannot believe you lied to me. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, neighbors. I'm I'm totally on board with this lie, though, because you were you you were also honest, but you Exposed. lied, but you were honest, so it's okay. Nominations are open. 
Malachan nominates Malachan. All right. Why is that? Uh, because I'm definitely the Raven Keeper, and the demon shouldn't kill me. All right. You need five votes. Yes. I had to double check the script for Boom Dandy. Right? <laughs> like, what? <laughs> double check? Man, two is yeah. not enough. Uh, SL nominates DJ. Uh, SL nominates DJ? Why? Um, DJ's in a double claim with somebody else. And, yeah. Um, I also have reason to Maybe. suspect that DJ might actually be evil. DJ, your defense. Um... You want, feel free to ask me if you want. Um, I'm not going to stop it. However, at this point, from what I've I've talked pretty much most of the time at this point, and I have, assuming Jason, assuming I'm sober and Jason was not the demon there, I have almost my one demon candidate right here right now. I'm probably going to nominate them right after this. Okay, you need five votes. I mean, you did use a plastic straw, DJ. Like, come on. Yeah. I was gonna put myself on. Oh, okay. I'll put, I was gonna put myself. Through. Okay. DJ is on the block with five. Uh, DJ's gonna nominate Art. Okay. DJ nominates Art. Why is that? Um, after talking with enough people in around town, to me, Art was the one person who I did not shoot that I suspect is who could most likely be the demon at this point in the game, barring any jumps or any form of other shenanigans. Art, your defense. No defense. Alright, five to tie, or six to put Art on the block. If you want to kill me, so be it, but to me, Art might be a candidate, but that's just me. Interesting. Might have a klutz who stays alive quite late. Or gets executed tomorrow. Three votes is not enough. Bruce nominates Bruce. Okay, Bruce nominates Bruce. Why? Uh, I think DJ is good, and after talking with Resnora, I think that I am a good kill. All right, you need five votes to tie or six to kill. Uh, Bambi, you said a Campbell did not approach you, right? No. And I have almost nobody who could talk to me, so... Four just, is less than five, so Bruce is safe. Any more nominations? Final call. DJ, how would you like to be executed? Um, enjoying a nice warm beverage. Uh, DJ gets a hot chocolate from same said uh, place as the straw came from, only it is way, way, way too hot. And you know what? Uh, that fast food place then spends like millions to billions of dollars on a PR campaign to make it look like it was all your fault when actually they're absolutely at fault for killing you this way. Um, but you know, town buys it, uh, so they go to sleep. <clears throat> so I was referencing uh, a rather infamous case here in the United States of uh, McDonald's coffee and um, let me tell y'all if if you bought that uh, everything that McDonald's pushed during that time that somehow it was just this old woman's fault uh, and everybody should know coffee is hot and etc etc please for the love of God do some research into it because let me tell you McDonald's completely at fault uh whole bunch of shit wrong there um absolutely horrible case uh, maybe uh, don't yeah. look at pictures if you're squeamish because this woman got third degree burns on a significant portion of her body third degree yep coffee should never be that hot anyway um all right that was uh DJ uh, shooting one outsider and then nominating the other, so that's interesting. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, what happened in McDonald's? Uh, this was a long time ago. This was back in the 90s. Um, there was a woman who got uh, coffee and it ended up spilling on her and it caused some severe burns. Uh, and then McDonald's spent a whole lot of money um, to make it look like this was a frivolous lawsuit and it absolutely was not. Um, so yeah, corporations are bad. All right, uh, let's go find out who Ryback's killing. Hello. Hello. Who I don't know if Dak be? actually believes he's my marionette. I don't know what you're going to do. I think people accuse me too much of star passing early, and I think I'm going to prove them right. But also, I think enough people know I'm the Oracle, and I think after what's happened, I think I have to die. Okay. So sorry. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. We got to go figure out what we're doing. Uh, if I can click correctly. Okay. Um, so we need to decide who is getting the star pass. Uh, so Dak obviously has a built-in bluff of fortune teller. Uh, this would certainly confirm for Dak. Um, <laughs> you are, in fact, a marionette because now you're the imp. Um, so that's interesting, although I do think a fortune teller info, like, claim late in the game is suspicious. I'm not 100% sure what Tanfana is bluffing right now, but there was a claim that there was a, a, dub, a double claim out there, so might be that Tanfana ended up in one. So I think we passed to Dak. What do you think, Jackie? Um, this is the, the coin flip. I also do not know what Tan is bluffing because I've been following around some evil player chats because they amused me. <laughs> yeah, chat is saying Tan's bluffing Balloonist. Um, and Ryback just said that he's bluffing Oracle, so. Um, yeah, I mean, I honestly think that, like, no matter which one we pass to, it's a pretty decent choice. Um, but most people are leaning Dak, so uh, let's go... Let's for the go. lulls. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's go let Dak know. All right. Hello. Hello. Uh, if you think we are here to give get, get you some information, um, we are, kind of, but probably not what you're expecting. Dak, you've gotten a promotion. You are now the imp. Okay. okay. Uh, good luck and have fun. Thank you. Okay, um, so let's make a little note here next to our Slayer, uh, that our Slayer died today. Dylan can choose to out, um, as the cannibal to make a Slayer shot if he would like, uh, and other than that, uh, we literally have no information to give out anymore. <laughs> <coughs> So nice, easy, nice. <laughs> yeah. Um, I actually think that this star pass is pretty decent because it does make, like, SL's information, it makes it look less puzzle drunk, right? Um, it also means that Bruce's guess of DJ, like, would be wrong, which is fine. Um, because, you know, Dak, knowing for sure, oh, I was the, uh, the, the marionette fortune teller, um, can just make up whatever information he wants for for the fortune uh, fortune teller stuff, right? So, um, yeah, we're gonna have a whole lot of outsider claims alive, uh, and a whole lot of powerful townsfolk claims alive at the end, like getting into this middle and end of the game. I think, which is really interesting. So, I I I would love to see where this goes. Oh yeah. So far, the Cannibal Kindness project's going really well. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Um, double seamstresses are, like, that's potentially devastating for town, right? Um, mm -hmm. Or for evil, I mean, to, to have a double seamstress pings. They also get another chance at a Slayer shot today if they believe that DJ is good. Um, so, yeah. All right, um, that's everything. So let's go ahead and bring him on back. Continue on. Another night and another night of revenge for us for the last game, because Ryback's dead. Uh, Ryback claims Klutz uh, picks Malishon. 
Rybacks, claims, klutz, chooses Malishan, and the game continues. I mean, Art knows that that's not <laughs> true. Uh, okay. Bruce, let's chat. Uh, who is that? SL? I wonder what Art's gonna think. Hey, of how's that. it going? I have actually, I have no info on you at all. You have what? I'm sorry. No info on you at all. I have no info on you at all either. Well, let's solve this conundrum then, shall we? Yeah, you want to go? You want to give me a one for one? I'll give you twos. Okay, I'll give Savant you Savant or Ravenkeeper. Savant or Ravenkeeper. Excellent. Uh, I'm going to give you the exact same twos. Great. I'm neither one of the ones I gave you. I'm actually the fisherman. Incredible. I'm neither the one of those I gave you either. Damn. <laughs> Would you look at that? Fascinating. Uh, so you willing to hard claim to me since I just hard claim to you? Yeah, I can hard claim to you just fine. Uh, I am the huntsman. That is a triple claim. Incredible. Wild. What a game. <laughs> one of them, uh, one of them, like, hard, hard claimed to me. That's reasonable. That's a reasonable thing for somebody to say. And they died. Yes. Wild. So, it's I'm hard to tell. not the huntsman? I think I am. Uh, I believe I'm the huntsman. There's the Saranovas okay. on the script. I see. Maybe the I dead see. person is mad. Because you I have truly an excellent am. Excellent point. I need to go chat with them again. Thank yes. You. Well, wait. Do you want to share any of them? All right. Um, I'm going to maybe see if I can talk to her and see if I can suss any information out from her. Okay. Thank you. All right. Cool. Dylan wants to talk to you. So. Uh, the cannibal got a yes between SL and Bruce. Okay, so probably good. Could be the evil team, but I doubt it. Could be. I think I'm reading them good. Uh, yeah. I uh, I'm trying to get people to like cannibal slayer shoot today. I can do a cannibal slayer shot. Yeah, just to hide whoever you know, whoever is the actual. Yep. Yeah. Um. I think the demon is. If I'm trusting all the info I have, I think the demon is tan fan of dagger art. So. I agree with that. I think. Yeah, so I don't know where to shoot in there, but um, that's sort of the team I'm looking at. Yep. I think you're good here. Um, Rez was the huntsman. Um, trust Rez. Okay. That works. Uh, yeah, like I said, I try, like, like I said, from my point of view, either you're, either you're evil and Rez was the Fangu, or you're both good, and I think you're both just good. So. Yeah, I mean, if we don't have anything better, I'd quite like to die, but that's all I'll say about that. Yep, makes sense. Uh, Alright, sounds good. Thank you. Oh, and Bruce, and I got a yes. Okay, because apparently... I don't know, do we have a pixie in the script? There is a pixie on the script. Yeah, I'm little sad from Chazen, so I think Chazen could be a good execution, but if you're already the cannibal, I think you don't, we don't, you we don't have a good food. Okay. So, I have so, already, uh, Hello. I just had a quick question about imp passing. Yeah. Would you have told the minion immediately that they are now the demon? Yes. Okay, so it's Dak and not me. <laughs> just want to make sure I'm not going around <laughs> guessing damsels as being secretly the imp and getting executed. Yeah, no, I would have. I would have gone to you and let you know about a uh, character change if you'd had one. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, I got a yes on uh, SL and Bruce, so either they're both evil or they're both good. Um, I actually am getting good reads off of them, so I think they're both good, which means I think the demon is only in a couple spots. Uh, you are potentially one of them, but if that's the case, then have fun killing me, and then I'll just come right back at you. So, uh, uh, No interest in killing you. Right, that's why I kind of figure I'm like, you know, that's why I don't mind outing to someone I think is the demon. Cause... So you have demon Dylan, me, Dak. You or possibly Tanfana. Um, but basically, yeah, in that, um, in that stuff. I think, I think Dylan is the most likely out of those, although I haven't talked to any of, e either of the other two. Uh, that's fair. I've talked to Tanfana 
Um, Tanfana is Tanfana. They always read as suspicious to me, but I can't tell if it's good suspicious or bad suspicious right now. Uh, <laughs> Dylan is reading as... Uh... Dylan, I think, is good. I'll put it that way, uh, and I'll explain after the game, but I think Dylan's good, so I think it's likely you are Dak. Sure. I mean, it's going to come out that I've told people I'm the cannibal, but I'm I'm totally okay with it. I've heard that you are claiming that. Uh, uh, yeah, I've heard that. I've heard that as a thing, but that's yeah. fine. Uh, if DJ was a slayer, you can do a cannibal slayer shot if you want. So, how do you feel about the demon being a fangu and jump into Dylan? Uh, I mean, that's always a possibility, I guess. I, I I think that's a possibility, a strong possibility. So, just keep yeah. that in your arsenal. That makes sense. Okay. Thanks. Right. Thank you. point nope okay bye uh, but it very much looks like art or tanfana tanfana is probably the fangu so i, I don't know i kind of so do we want to go for the ca fangu can welcome back everybody please chat amongst yourselves um, so it occurred to me today that, um, just looking at the script, there's a possibility that we could have five outsiders in play, and that fucking terrifies me. <laughs> that worries it's me. It's probably not. Malachan claims Slayer and shoots Art. Okay, weapon of choice. Badger Fault. Uh, Malachan does their best to wrangle up all of the badgers, but the badgers refuse to be wrangled, and therefore there's nothing in the badger pult when they set it off, so nothing happens. Uh, in lieu of that, Dylan would like to claim Slayer and shoot Dak. Okay, weapon of choice. There it is. Um, badger pult 2, electric boogaloo. The Badgers find themselves drawn to Dylan and Dylan's Badger Pult rather than Malishan's. Malishan, you should feel incredibly insulted um, because this Badger Pult works and Dak dies. And the game is over. What? Oh, shit. What? Oh, what? Oh, what? Oh, what? Oh, Amazing. Are you All kidding me? Right. Well. <laughs> What a game. Okay, so uh, we can start with DJ, who was in fact your slayer and used the ability yesterday to shoot Jason. Uh, nothing happened because Jason wasn't the demon. Resnora was your damsel who found Malachan on day one, but alas, was murdered before Malachan could pick her. Art was your klutz. Uh, Bruce was your puzzle master who decided on day one to just do a random shot in the dark. Guess DJ got Malachan. We'll get to why in a bit. Uh, Bambi was the seamstress who checked Resnora and Malachan on night one. Got a yes because both of them were good. SL was the fisherman whose advice was be wary of information coming from the south. Despite the fact that everybody uh, on the lower half of the grim was good because SL was in fact your puzzle drunk fisherman. I was trying to make it look like there were evils down here because the evils were in fact all at the top of the grim. Uh, FM Jason was your mutant who uh, convinced Dylan for like a couple of days that uh, he was the, the marionette. Um, and uh, Dylan, you were not because you were in fact the cannibal as proven here when you used your cannibal slayer shot to kill the current demon. Uh, also got a second seamstress ability and checked SL and Bruce. Malachan was the huntsman, sadly could not choose Resnora so instead uh, just used their ability on Ryback. Uh, Ryback was your starting imp who last night decided to star pass and we had a bit of a debate on whether that should go to Tanfana or Dak. We decided on Dak, um, and then Dak got Slayer shot. Tanfana was the Baron, though, who was responsible for putting two of the extra outsiders in play. Dak started off thinking he was the fortune teller, was actually the marionette who got to catch the star pass. What was I have no idea how close I was yeah. night one to just blind picking Vesnova for the memes. <laughs> You know, this has happened. This is this has happened to us twice now. The first time it was me, and I was gonna blind pick you night one, and I didn't. And then one of us ended up dying, before or, or like one of us ended up dying, and then yeah, and now it's happened the other way. Yep. All right. Well, uh, we have ended slightly early. Um, because both games weren't ran slightly short, but we don't quite have enough time uh, to 
fully play like another game um, of this. So yeah, uh, I think we're just gonna go ahead and, and call the stream there. Um, so Jackie, let's head on down.